welcome to another Totally Fucked Up Friday, where I provide you with yet more evidence of how the world is totally fucked up. Let's go with one of my favourite types of stories now. Animals in Australia that want to fucking kill you. Now, some of them are subtle, some less so. This story, for me, gives a new definition of either really fucking drunk or really fucking stupid. Because, as I say, some Australian animals can be deceiving. They might look cute, but they're dangerous. But you know what's not deceiving? A five metre long saltwater crocodile. In case you're wondering, that's more than 15 foot long. They're big, they're fucking mean, and some idiot in Broome got drunk enough to think late at night, climbing into the enclosure of a five metre saltwater croc was a good idea. By some miracle and complete lack of justice, he wasn't killed. He didn't get bitten, but he got away from it. But seriously, this Darwin Award time, okay? If only he was dead, there is no better example of someone who is not a fit member of society than someone who thinks, I shall climb in with a five meter saltwater crocodile, flesh eater. Pity, not a moron eater. I assume the crocodile just bit him and went, that guy tastes like shit. I'm not having anything to do with him. That level of fucking stupidity is contagious, even for a crocodile. But let's move away from stupid people. Go with smart people, scientists, doctors. I'm a big fan of science. One of the things that amazes me is every now and then something uh, in science or a medical procedure that's really good and life-saving still sounds really bad. I read a story of a woman who had a terrible gut infection. It was killing her. They couldn't stop the bacterial infection. No antibiotics worked. No treatment worked. She was going to die. And the doctor came up with a fecal transplant. Some of her husband's feces was used to introduce healthy bacteria into her system to try and get rid of the bad bacteria. And it worked because it's science. But I would be really disturbed by the conversation with a doctor introducing the idea of a fecal transplant. Oh, Doc, I don't think the treatment's working. I don't think I'm going to hang on for much longer. Well, fortunately, I think I have the perfect treatment, a fecal transplant. Uh, uh, I... Um... This is going to sound crazy, but I thought you said fecal transplant, as in feces. That's the plan. We're going to stick someone else's feces up your butt to cure you. doing this because I'm too weak to fight back? Science! It works, bitches! When a doctor wants to stick something up your butt, they know what they're doing. And finally, back to the animal kingdom, where in New Zealand this week, a dog shot a man in the ass with a 22. How did the dog manage that, you ask? Well, the man was out pig shooting, and he had the gun next to him on the seat of his car, and the dog next to him on the seat of the car, and the dog trod on the rifle, making it discharge, shooting him in the butt. We had to go to hospital and get the bullet taken out and explain the embarrassing story to the doctor. Personally, I think this is a Darwin Award coming in again. The dog knew how stupid his owner was, couldn't quite bring himself to shoot his owner in the head and kill him, but he thought, I will honour the spirit of Darwin by taking this guy out of the gene pool by shooting his Balls off so he can't pollute society with any offspring. Missed it by that much. Except the dog couldn't even say that because dogs don't have thumbs.